speaking Cameroon, their campaign has been outlined by that stellar forward line of Carl Toko Ekambi with five goals. And of course, Vincent Abubakar with six scoring all the indomitable Lions goals of the tournament so far. In the capital of the northern region where he comes from, the Cameroon captain and top scorer of this AFCON has become an idol. Michel Dior, his brother, has been welcoming fans from all over Garua to watch games at their family house. For him, it's no surprise that Vincent is experiencing so much success on Africa's largest stage, given his fight to emerge from humble beginnings. He started soccer in the neighborhood. He had a passion for soccer, and that passion was extraordinary. Vincent was the type of child who was humble, who was understanding, who was hardworking, who knew how to listen, and who also persevered while remaining disciplined. He's playing well, and his performances are incredible. We are satisfied with what he has done in the tournament, and the people in the north of Garua are proud of everything Vincent has done. Well, Ruben, we've talked about those players to watch. Surely that strike force of Ekami and Abu Bakr, I mean, what is it that makes them such a good partnership? The good thing is that they're, in fact, quite different. Uh, Abu Bakr is that uh, classic fox in the box, that classic number nine that's not often in modern football anymore. We don't see those type of players uh, very often anymore. He is always scoring. Everywhere where he is playing, he is making goals. So that's, yeah, he's a certainty for your team. And Kaltoke Kambi is a little bit more versatile play. He can also play on the wings. He is fast as well. So together, it's quite difficult to defend those, uh, those players. And with the whole nation behind them, it also seems that for, especially for Abu Bakr, but now finally also for Toke Kambi, that they can give even a little bit more during those those games during this uh, Africa Cup of Nations, and that's of course uh, really good news for the for the uh, for the Cameroon team. And just on another note, Ruben, on that Cameroon team, well, it's a, it's a welcome note in that uh, the players have decided today, they've met with Federation head Samuel Etu to donate their knockout round bonuses, that's $85,000 each, to the victims of the stampede at the Olympus Stadium. A lovely gesture from the indomitable Lions.